I think we are definitely getting close to the end. I'm pretty confident in that. Wait, I have to talk to her again? Quests. There we go. Gemini, level 30. Talk to Gaia to launch the mission. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hello again, Aloy. Well, hello there, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh... Me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. It's official. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Good. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. What do you have to say? Not ready, let's go to Gemini. We'll start here, go all the way around. So let's see, questions about subordinate functions. Uh, Demeter. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zo. I believe we may have a workaround. Which is? I believe Zo will want to explain the plan. Okay, I'll check with her when I can. If I remember. This is going to be a very long conversation. It's not grayed out. <coughs> does he have? Does she have more to say? I'm going to click on it and see. Uh, worst case, I'll just skip right through. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Feral Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines then. Okay, it's grayed out now. So, the missing subordinate functions. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Of course. Ted. Guess he got what he deserved, in the end. Yes. An igneous conclusion to his pathological narcissism, impulsive tendencies, and instability. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density, empowering my overall function. Unfortunately, as we now know they are in the possession of Far Zenith, attaining them in the short term is very likely impossible. I guess our best shot at recovering them is by taking over the Zenith base. But we'll need Hephaestus <coughs> and a bunch of combat machines to do that. Correct. So we're, we're going to go on a full on assault after this then. Poseidon. Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. Good. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. 
Uh, so there's more about Poseidon. So Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased <coughs> in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect <laughs> that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. That was funny. Um, could Hephaestus help defeat the Zeniths? So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So you could build an army of machines, attack the Zeniths and take them out. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Unless you're lying. Uh, Aether. <coughs> you mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that Aether at work? Yes. Thanks to Aether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. Good. Well, that's a relief. Be nice not to have to fight my way through a storm anymore. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. Looks like the world is actually getting back together because of Gaia. Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions, Aether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. The one in the museum appears to have been sufficient. Given that the holographic displays were still active. So Aether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to. Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. Okay, let's go back and click on another thing. Let's go with questions about Zeniths. Um, Zenith plas uh, plans for Earth. Beta believes the Zeniths want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by <coughs> easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. Okay. Um, Zenus immortality. It's a good question. So the Zenus are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? That's what I want to know. We know of far Zenith. It is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. Ted was trying to make himself immortal. Didn't end well for him. I really wish they sh for showed us. There are many more failed attempts. <clears throat> Some more grotesque than others. I really wanted to see Ted in his new form. That would have been cool to see. Probably disturbing, but cool nonetheless. Uh, Zenith identities. <coughs> the Zenith. 
Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Fair. Uh, the signal and other subordinate functions. The extinction signal did <coughs> It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was a sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. How could the Zeniths know that? From the records on your focus, it appears Far Zenith had an informant during the development of Zero Dawn. Hank Shaw. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. It is likely Far Zenith acquired knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. That's crazy. Imagine what else they found out. Uh, Zenith's uh, Far Zenith's technology. So from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, <coughs> every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Basically, we're going to destroy their shield by sheer back-to-back uh, -back attacks, you know? Overwhelm the shield until eventually it fails. How did you track the signal? How did you figure out the <coughs> extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silent's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Yep. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. We've already known this, though. So the duration halved gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Yeah, that makes perfect logical sense, as she says. How, uh, I don't know why they added that in there, maybe just to remind you, but we've already known that. We've already had this conversation with her. Uh, our progress. Okay, Beta. So, <coughs> about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us until now. She's been through so much. Completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. It's true. Uh, companions. How's Catalo doing? I have to say that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. 
I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. If I remember. Uh, plan to capture Hephaestus. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it. Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. It's a long time. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. That's the plan, at least. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. Hopefully. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenith. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. The, the, the bad thing potentially here is what if the Zeniths guess the right cauldron and they end up coming to us first? That'd be, that would suck. Wait, companions? <clears throat> How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have found a workaround. Zoe will want to fill you in on the details. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember. Okay, sounds promising. <sighs> Okay, uh, looks like we still have companions. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. <laughs> she appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. Oh my god, they're vegetarians. I believe they have agreed to disagree. <laughs> That is funny. So she's a vegetarian, he is not. How's Aaron handling things? <clears throat> he is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? <coughs> he unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given <laughs> repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Good. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Yeah, but those things are finite, you know? We only have a certain amount of them. Unless we are able to replicate them, which I doubt we can. Maybe. Maybe with Gaia's help. I don't know. Companions. <laughs> so there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen. Before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. Good. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this <clears throat> on his own terms. This is a very long conversation. We're not even done with companions yet. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. <laughs> he appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. 
He also suggested we host a party for you. As a surprise. Uh, yeah. No thanks. That is what I predicted. <laughs> I'm not much of a birthday, pers uh, birthday party person myself. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. It's kind of funny that they said an Operation Enduring Victory. It kind of reminded me of my time in the army. Where I, you know, I deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. So that's kind of funny. How was all of us settling? <clears throat> as soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus... I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. Mike, I... I'm not gonna do that. Okay, biosphere status. So now that you have Eve, <coughs> Peter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have a Festus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. Good! Uh, Omega Clearance. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It it's is a good question. He tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. Okay, sorry companions, but I'm done with you. About the old world? Okay, Elizabeth. <clears throat> Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names... Then set to our task. She's mommy. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company. Just like a mommy. Her stories. She was my creator. <clears throat> my guide. By my mom. Your friend. Oh, I was close. Yes. <laughs> when I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. Did all that she could. Thanks, Gaia. Okay, Zero Dawn. So, Project Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world. All working to build the terraforming system while the feral plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. <coughs> Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? 
scared, hopeful, determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. Now these conversations take forever. About Gemini. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No, though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. Okay, old world discoveries. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Kernel. It used to be a feral research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Faro Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. Uh. Okay, old world discoveries again. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. And it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the <coughs> outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the feral plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. Okay, I'm done with that. Uh... I don't want to stay in one conversation and it'll be like companions and it'll be over and over and over again. This place. So this facility, the regional control center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. <clears throat> okay, back. Let's go to Gemini. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Let's go. Ooh, a nice little cutscene. With all of our companions. He likes her, doesn't he? They're all splitting up going to their own cauldrons. The tall necks. Hello, Beta. Very nice. Oh, we're already inside the cauldron and everything. That makes it easy. Alright, connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am 
I'm fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the cauldron <coughs> network. It's good. I hear your voice. Now we have to wait for four and a half hours. Aaron, everyone, fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my call. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Oh, snap. Gaia? Let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. Clearance confirmed. Hey, it's working. Activating containment sequence. It's gonna. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fight. Lock it down. Terminating external connections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. Wait. What's? What's? That? Yeah. Detected. Attempting to compensate. <laughs> Look. We're gonna have to fight. <laughs> oh snap! The machines are on their way. Get ready. Here they come. Cauldron Gemini. Where? Oh, this is what the fuck? Stay back. The blade is all I My game is a little laggy. So this is going to make it a little difficult. Get back. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm pretty sure that's not what I wanted to craft. That's not what I wanted to craft either. Over here, you. I'm getting nervous. Hey, Lloyd, help. You know what? Oh, I messed that up so bad. Hey, Lloyd, get a hand over here. I will. Oh, oh. Come on. My game is so laggy, it's insane. I'm not gonna be able to do this that easily with it lagging so hard. I'm pretty sure it's my recording software. I really don't know if you guys can see it. I'm, I'm very confident it's my recording software. It's so scary. Crap. All I have is one? Ooh! Oh crap! I rolled right into that one. That was... That was very bad. Floral, stay here. Protect Beta. Got it. Be careful. Oh, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. Please let that be. You know what? Get out of the way. No! Get the fuck out of here. I gotta run. Give me stuff, please. Oh my god, Varro, you are so freaking annoying. Oh my god, I got one of them. The most dangerous one, too. <clears throat> can I? Yes, I can. That was a huge lag. Oh, I still got him. It's okay, that was just concussion. Holy crap. Am I gonna do this? This is it. That's it. Oh my god, finally. Wow. That lag made it a lot more hard, uh, more difficult than it needed to be. Yeah, I almost killed myself on that one. <clears throat> Where am I supposed to go? Are the, these things are climbable, right? Yes, okay. I need some medicinal stuff, man, like, desperately. And this lag really is not gonna help. Let's go. Hey, Lloyd. I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. How do I get up there? Up. I'm almost there. I, I don't know what happened there, but it worked. It's some kind of a production chamber. Festus is up to something, all right? We're going to have to fight again. What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? How 
don't know. But I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. Metal carriers? I bet that's where our theft is hiding, too. There's gonna be a gigantic boss there, isn't it? I'm almost certain of it. I don't I don't know what it said. Ooh, more uh medicinal stuff. I managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um let me think. What if you bypass the processor? Connect it to the power node. I think that could work. <sighs> okay. So my health is at tip top shape. How do I get on the damn metal carriers is the thing. There should be a way to get up here. But I'm not sure how. Hold L2. Wait, does this thing work? Pull caster. What would I use the pull caster on? I legit don't see anything to use the pull caster on. Huh. Maybe on that? Yeah, I don't see anything on there. Alright, let's just... Let's see if there's another way. <clears throat> I don't know how I fell there, but okay. Man, I swear. I need to fix this recording software because it's really annoying. Huh. So there's nothing down here. <clears throat> Let's try going this way this time. Well, I unlocked something. Something happened. I don't think there's anything in that direction. Doesn't look like there's anything in that direction either. Let me try to hover through it again. I hate that it does that. The second you touch something. Let me try that again though, because I'm pretty sure that it's only doing that because I'm touching that purple thing. <coughs> so if I can avoid touching that purple thing, I might be able to hover through it. Emphasis on the might. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Whoa, what?
Is there more than... Oh my god, there's a lot of machines here. Whoa, that hurt. I honestly like this bow better. It's just a little harder to... to use. Oh. I mean, the good thing... Whoa. What? That thing completely missed. There we go. I might be able to take him out. Oh, crap. Oh! Okay, that's good. One down. I want to take out the other little guy. So he's down. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh my god, you freaking stupid thing. Alright, well he's down again. Oh, I'm out of ammo again. Yeah, this thing does substantially more damage. But the problem with it is that you don't have a ton of ammo in your pouch. Okay, he's dead. Where's the other guy? There he is. Knock down, baby. Let's go. Hit him. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Let's go ahead and loot them both while we have the opportunity. Or all three, I should say. Wait, 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 wait. There's health. And a box. I really wish there was more medicinal berries. I'll do this in a second. Ooh, another box. <clears throat> Clearly, I'm gonna. I'm in desperate need of health. Wasn't there one that died over here? Oh, there it is. I couldn't tell. I couldn't see him. Oops, wrong button. I did not push a button that time. There we go. Hey! Oh God! Theta, Hephaestus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. He's not down. Oh no! What the fuck is going on? I got stuck! God, this game sometimes. Please tell me at least I'm over the wall. Okay, that's good. Let me let me get let me just prepare for a second. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not gonna get there in time, but I'm gonna try. Nope. Oh God. There we go, we got another knockdown. I don't think the big dude saw us yet either. Oh, he he definitely saw us. He definitely saw us. Oh! Okay, we got one dead. Since he likes fire so much. Oh god, he's still spewing it. <sighs> he hits really hard. Really? Please blow up that freaking pouch. Ugh! I gotta heal. That was a good shot. That should be it. There we go. I really like that. The spears. They do a ton of damage. Crap, I got nothing in my inventory either. Wait, there's still another! Let me get this again. Whoa, he went right through him. God, I really like this thing. Oh. How the f Get up! That's it. Oh, that's definitely it. I got them all. Finally! I, I tapped into the core's network hub. I managed to disrupt the control of the node. You should be able to override it now. Nice. Thanks. Finally. Oh, that was tough. So that's it, right? Sounds like it fled to another chamber. Of course it did. Well, I better not get comfortable. Of course it did, because now we have to chase him down and go to another place. Whoa. That explains these things now. Let's discover the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Hey, Lloyd. More machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Sarah's <coughs> missing out. Anyway, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Wait, hold on. Okay, so I do have to go this oh, way. Or some luminous rating. You could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity. I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. 
How do I get through there? Let me see, maybe if I... Can be moved with a pull cast. I've tried the pull caster before. What in the actual... No! Holy crap, that was scary. There we go. <clears throat> I've done that before. You guys... Oh, I, or did I? Actually, I think I might have shot it. Oops. Crap. Oh, crap. How do I... Come on. Really? Time to let go. Jump! Ooh, yikes. Get out of here, kangaroo! That's not what I wanted, but okay, I'll take it. That's all I could do. Oh, I'm in a tough... I'm in a very tough situation. I'm running out of resources left and right. Let me up there. Can I just do this? <laughs> Whoa. Crap, it's a chicken. This is, this one's going to be even harder than the last. <clears throat> Blow up. It's okay. Perfect. That might be my cue. For this. Alright, where's the big guy at? Oh, get out of here. Oh, that gun's scary. Oh! He's still lit. Where'd he go? Don't shoot me, please. Crap, you still got me. Much better. I think I'm still in a very good situation here, though.
Okay. I gotta utilize these pillars as much as possible while he's lit. Because those... Those explosions hurt, too. Was he knocked down? Oh! That was close. One down. Oh. I'm gonna take advantage that he thinks I'm over... Never mind. I might have sealed my fate here. He's dead. Give me one second. I still wish I had shot down the second one. Because he's not the only one left. There's still more monsters. Or machines, I mean. <clears throat> I just don't know where they're at. Where are they? Let me take advantage real quick. Grab this stuff just in case I'm gonna need them. I think this is it guys. I think this is the run. I see him. He's up there. Get your ass down here. Ooh, that was perfect. No, what? Perfect. Finally. That took forever. Have I looted all these guys? Yeah, I have. I hate it when I do that. Let me look at the map. Okay, so back to the hey. big where the big shield thing was. Running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy? What? I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. <sighs> Something big is happening. That's not good at all. Everything's glowing. Machine that justice was building. It must have finished it. Of course it did. Come on, man. I don't know how to defeat this guy, but... Covered in plasma. Oh, 
My god, this guy's enormous. I don't mind that attack because it it looks to be pretty easily terrorographed. I don't know how to defeat this guy. Ugh. This guy is gonna be a pain. And this isn't, we haven't even taken on the freaking Zeniths yet. <clears throat> this is gonna be bad. Do we have any level ups? Holy crap, we have 26. Wait, uh. Hold on. Why can't I go to the other, to the, there we go. <laughs> Gotta get as many as I can. I'm just going to continue. I don't even care. Let's go with Hunter now. We'll put the rest in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm okay with that one for now. That's all I got. So that's, uh... How do I activate this again? Okay. Let's go, Aloy. Oh, I have to shoot both sides. That's what happened. So I got hit with a little bit of the plasma. I gotta lay down as many traps as I possibly can in hopes that it even hits them. See, so that hit him. Oh, shh! Get up! How do I cleanse that? So, now I know that there's two sides. Wait, does that mean I gotta level up again? Yes, I do. Crap, this is gonna suck ass if I have to do this every time.
Like, really bad, actually. So that's all I got. I really wish it quick save. Can I quick save? No. I think I want the blast to start off with. Well, that didn't work. Oh! Get out of there! I just learned something very important. I just learned something very important. That elite blasted a lot of damage. So if I could craft a few and put them down right there, right next to them, I think I could do a lot of damage to them. Where's that elite blast? Crap, that's all I could craft. I'm gonna craft whatever traps I can. Not enough, not enough, no. So that's all I got. God, but now I gotta do this freaking thing again. This is the, this is gonna be annoying. Having to do this every single time. What does this do? That's pretty cool. Not what I'm looking for right now though. <clears throat> Wait, not that, this. Come on, I'm going straight there. Get as much as I can from- oh. That did a ton of damage! You know what? I bet this does a lot of da- Oh, I can't even make it! I'm dead. <laughs> That's the explosion. Where's my health packs? Get up!
Don't kill me. It doesn't. It does attack. It still attacks. Oh, I'm dead. That, that's a clue. God damn! Where'd my trap go? Get up! It destroyed my trap. Come on, walk right into it, please. I'm not gonna be able to do it this time around. It ran around. It still got it though. It's powering up. Did it completely miss my trap? It did. What is it doing? Oh God. Maybe I will get it this turn around. Ooh. Oh my God. Get up Aloy. You don't have the luxury to be standing around. <clears throat> Come on, run in this direction, please. I should probably be attacking nonstop, shouldn't I? He is so close to dying. Come on, I'm so scared. I won. Oh, you did it. Uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Good, stand by. Oh, my God, that was that was fun. Please give me some health. No health. But maybe... Whoops. Forgot I have to hold it for a second. <clears throat> no more hiding, Hephaestus. It's time. Got it. Hephaestus is back in the core. Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. Yep. We can start the merge. Finally. I'm glad you came along. And you, Carl. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Finally! She's finally starting to see that she needs her friends. Am I supposed to go back this way? No, I'm going the wrong direction. <clears throat> oh my god, that was a... That was a journey. <coughs> Thank God for traps. The traps really came in clutch in these in this entire quest. 
took a while. I'm on two and a half, two hours and 40 minutes. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, Beta. Hey, Lloyd. The, the bypass is done. Good. The core is stable. Festus is 100% contained. Finally. It's all set. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. She's sucking him up. Nice. Complete the merge. We need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. It's a bird. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Oh, snap. that bug while you're back. He doesn't stand a chance. Come on, quit screwing around. No. Oh my God. Get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Oh my god, dude, this- Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No! I can't even see her! What's going on? I'm not sure what just happened. Did one of their own betray them? Beta. This is going to make her more resistant towards having companions. Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I 
can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zenith? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've... shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. What just happened? So I got, I have seven. Can I do anything with the seven? <coughs> How much is this? I could get it. Might as well. What about on this side? Dude, I can't believe I'm almost done on this side. How much do I need? A lot. So what's the quest? All that remains? Damn, we've been through a lot. Gemini? Well, I guess that answers my question. Let's go talk to this girl. It's gonna be interesting to say the least.